Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa. Welcome to MySans 3 Minute Max. Today we're going to talk about order of volatility, uh, it, specifically as it applies to the uh, forensic acquisition process. Order of volatility speaks to uh, the order that we want to do things in order to make as small of a footprint on the data as we possibly can. Now when we get to a machine, we're going to find it in one of two states. It's either going to be on or it's going to be off. Now, I realize that people are going to argue that, well, is it really off just because it doesn't look like it's off or on? Do we know? Well, with modern standby, which is a, a functionality uh, present within the Windows 10 system, it is very possible that it could be off, but it's on, but it's off, but it's on. We'll talk more about modern standby in a later uh, three minutes max. Uh, but for now, we're going to speak from the, the perspective that we've pressed uh, the mouse pad or wiggled the mouse or pressed the space bar and nothing's happened. That would be uh, what we would consider off for the purpose of this discussion. Uh, if it's not that, then, well, the other state is that it's on. Uh, in other words, the screen is alive. We see a desktop. Um, we know that the machine is on. Now, we also know that everything that happens on the computer occurs in the RAM or the random access memory. Uh, and we want to approach the computer making as uh, small a uh, change to it as possible. In other words, uh, even just waking it up or pressing the space bar is going to alter things in the RAM. So because of that, maybe that's what we want to approach first. We want to grab the RAM before we start grabbing anything else, making any other changes on the system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to forensically image the RAM and we'll get into how to do that in a later episode. Once we uh, acquire the RAM, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move to checking the computer for encryption. We want to know if the partition we're looking at, at is encrypted because if it is encrypted, now we know that we're going to have to image this machine uh, live rather than powering it down. And then, of course, the, the third option would be the imaging of the drive, whether it be a live acquisition or we've determined that there is no encryption so we can turn the machine off and image it in what we call a dead box process. Uh, we're going to cover each of these in uh, subsequent My Sans 3 Minutes Max uh, talks. But uh, for now, you can certainly learn more in depth. We go into great detail and uh, have some great labs on how to do all of this within the Forensics 498 Battlefield Forensics and Data Acquisition process. Uh, and you can go to sans.org and have a look at our course offerings and see when that class is going to be run. Until tomorrow, take care.